<laughs> hey guys, and thanks for joining us on this third edition of What's Up World Team Google Hangout. I'm Michael Terry with U.S. Figure Skating at U.S. Figure Skating headquarters in Colorado Springs, and we're really pumped to have a couple more members of the World Team join us today. Uh, just a reminder, if you missed either of our last two Hangouts, you can watch those on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash U.S. Figure Skating. Uh, be sure, too, during this Hangout to ask, ask your own questions, and we'll get them on the air. Hashtag What's Up World Team. We'll be monitoring those, and we'll try to get a few to these athletes. Uh, we have some, some great guests with us today. Uh, first of all, uh, we have our 2015 computer medalist at U.S. Championships, and fresh off a Four Continents gold medal, Polina Edmonds is here. Um, we have our 2015 U.S. silver medalists, Haven Denny and Brandon Frazier, uh, coming to us from warm Florida. And then uh, we have our 2015 U.S. bronze medalists in dance, uh, Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue. So thanks all of you guys for joining us. Uh, pretty psyched for this. We'll just get right into it. I'll start with a few questions. Uh, Polina, let's start with you. Fresh off the Four Continents gold medal, uh, that had to be a really great experience. Uh, talk about that and maybe what kind of momentum it gives you heading to Shanghai. I'm super excited, obviously, from that Four Continents experience of just going and really performing well and skating two clean programs. And to be rewarded for that was really nice um, to get the gold medal. And so definitely I'm super excited to be going to Worlds in a couple weeks. And... I feel like this is definitely great momentum for me, and I'm just, I want to go and skate another two clean programs, have the same goal in mind, and hopefully end up doing very well there also. Excellent. And let's, we'll swing down to Florida now with uh, Haven and Brandon. Um, you both, I remember talking to you guys after, in Greensboro, after your uh, free skate, and you seemed pretty happy with how you finished, and you also went to Four Continents. What has your preparation and practice has been like since, uh, you know, getting home? Uh, I would say training for Worlds has been uh, going really smooth and uh, really well for us. We've been uh, really focusing on a lot of elements that we needed work on from uh, nationals and four continents with levels and things. And uh, I'll definitely say like the training has been uh, at an all-time high for us and uh, feeling really good to go to this competition and try to put it all out there for the end of the season. Yeah, just. Um since we got back from Fort Continents, we've just been training really hard. Um, so I think our goal for us is just to go and skate, um, do clean programs for us, or two um, programs that are like the best of our ability that we can do. So um, just training for that. <laughs> Excellent. And now, now we'll go to uh, Madison and Zach. Uh, I'll, I'll just ask the same question. How has your uh, practice been going since Greensboro, and, and what are you looking forward to about Shanghai? Um, well, practice has been going really well. Um, we're actually in the middle of kind of our hardest week. The quantity um, is our highest right now, um, trying to peak at the right moment. And so we're both pretty tired, <laughs> to tell you the truth, but it's going really well. Um, and no run Yeah, looking forward to next week when it gets a little bit more about quality over quantity. And um, this is my cat Garfield. <laughs> Came to say hello. For everyone that watched yesterday, uh, there was a, a big thing with pets. Everyone had their pets in there for a while, so uh, it's, it's nice that we have a pet with us today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to going to Shanghai. We actually have the Chinese dance team in Detroit training with us for the next couple weeks, and um, so I'm just excited to go and um, get the support from the Chinese crowd. So we're excited. Zach, you have anything to add? Uh, I second all of that. This week is very painful. I'm very tired. Our training is going great. Um, I had ferrets. They were running around somewhere, but they're gone. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can catch up. Um, yeah, no, I think we're in pretty prime time of our season right now. I mean, it's coming to the end. Training's going strong. Um, all the teams at our rink are really pushing forward right now. We've got, luckily, three teams. Both of uh, the other two are dancers going with us, so we're all kind of pushing each other forward. So hopefully we're going to go, uh, go into it with a lot of momentum. Excellent. Well, that's actually that goes right into our first fan question. Uh, we had a question come in on Facebook, and they were wondering, Zach and Maddie, what's it like uh, training with some of these other international teams at your rink? Does that motivate you? What, what, what does that feel like? Let the fans know. Take it away. Uh, <laughs> well, I was actually just um, thinking about that today. Um, 
you know, sometimes our events aren't at the same time, and so there's always an energy in the rink. There's always people working, but it's not as common for everybody to be pushing towards the same event at the same time. And it's been really great over the last few weeks to have um, everyone cheering each other on and have a similar schedule with run-throughs and training and, um, you know, watching Caitlin and Andrew as they push towards what will be a really big event for them, and um, they've just had such a monumental season. And um, I would say that they've proven that consistency is key, and it's something really great to train next to, and um, they're definitely good role models and good people to have around pushing us to keep training harder. Excellent. Uh, let's, let's, uh, we'll kind of, now let's switch it to uh, Hayden and Brandon. Uh, this question came in from um, at my friend Amy on Twitter. I was wondering, what's your favorite character in Lion King and why? <laughs> um, I like Rafiki. No, I like yes. uh, oh. Lord and Pumbaa the best. <laughs> I, I would have to say my favorite character would have to be Mufasa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how about, how about you others? You guys look like you had strong reactions. Let's see your favorite Lion King characters. Oh, man. Uh, um, I think Rafiki and Timon were the winners there. I think they don't mash, but they're the best. It's all about Simba. I, Simba. <laughs> yeah. How can you pick a favorite? They're all so good. Um, I just had a favorite scene, which was when they were eating the bugs. <laughs> all right. Well, that, hey, that works. Uh, Paulina, this question came in from you also on Facebook. Uh, someone was wanting to know what classes you're taking right now and what's your favorite subject. Hmm. Right now I'm taking World History, Algebra 2, um, my English class is New York Literature, um, I'm taking Photography class as my elective, and then I'm taking a Social Ethics class as the religion part of our Catholic school. And I took Chemistry over the summer so I won't have to take it over the year while I'm traveling and stuff, so that was definitely a very smart decision. <laughs> uh, and my favorite class, it's Mostly, I would say right now, I like world history just because there are so many really cool world events that we're learning about, and we just went through like World War II, and um, I've always been interested in like those kind of subjects. So this year, world history is probably my fave. Excellent. Uh, oh, uh, let's. You know, how about you guys? What are your favorite sort of topics uh, to read about or catch up on during the day? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to go first? <laughs> um, I guess for me it would be sports. I love reading about other athletes and sports teams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, we'll, we'll get back to that one. How about that? We'll give you some time to uh, think about it, and then we'll give you a, a quiz right at the end. How about that? Does that work? Yeah. Uh, Madison and Zach, this, this question came in for you uh, on Twitter. Um, Obviously, you've had you know a couple seasons of, of injuries and that kind of thing, and, and how has that changed the way that you train and, and maybe the way that you approach competition? <laughs> Zach, you can take one. <laughs> um, it's had a big effect on a lot of things. I don't know that we quite realized just how much until after nationals when I think Maddie started really feeling her strongest and her best and most comfortable. Um, it's hard for for both of us and for the whole coaching staff. Um, it feels kind of like a really long time of not being at our prime, but kind of surprising ourselves every day with what we're able to do, and especially to put out a competition. Um, I think on a super positive note, it's kind of really drawn our partnership together in ways uh, I think is pretty unique to just us. Um, we've gotten closer. We trust each other more. Our dynamic is grown as a team. Um, our working relationship with our coaches is also different. Um, they really had to take care of us for such a long time that we've grown really uh, close and our trust in them and our ability to work together smoothly and progress quickly towards a common goal has just really helped push us, especially after Nationals. Excellent. Well, it looks, just just for our fans, it looks like we lost Haven and Brandon. We had some, some problems yesterday. Uh, there were some internet issues with with Ashley and Adam, so we'll we'll hang by for them. Maybe they'll come back uh, 
but we, we'd hope they do because it'd be great <laughs> to hear from them. Uh, Paulina, we'll go to you on the next one. Um, the question was, uh, are you planning on going to prom this year? Oh. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> um, it's going to really depend on whether or not I'm in town during prom. It's the Our prom is set for like April 18th, I think. Um, and so I definitely think that if I'm in town, which most likely I will be probably, but um, I definitely want to go. So hopefully someone will ask me. <laughs> it's very, that might be the follow-up tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody ask me, please. No. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty hectic right now because there's basically a month till prom. So all of the girls are starting to really get into prom mode and just it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now, now, I got, now a question for all of you. Uh, it doesn't have to do with prom. Um, what is the funniest training habit that someone you train with or trains at your rink has? Uh, Zach, let's start with you, and then we'll go uh, Madison and then Polina. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's a loaded question. I don't know. Um, are they watching this? Can I <laughs> they might be. It'll be on YouTube afterwards, so they obviously... That's a good uh, question. I don't, I'm a, kind of a bit of a space cadet when it comes to watching others train. Um, especially this past few weeks, we've been really um, just shouting and screaming for each other to get through as strong as we can. Um, I, don't, I don't know that I have a good answer for this. So Maddie, can you save me here? I don't know that I have a good answer for this. Um, well, one thing that was actually pointed out um, by Alex Paul, about Alex Paul, is that every day she's in the locker room and she takes about 10 minutes to get dressed, put her skates on, and as she steps on the ice, she skates across the board to put down her jacket and immediately bends down to retie her skates. And what she told me is that it hurts her fingers to, you know, pull her skates tight enough until she skates one from one side to the other and then they're loose enough that the laces have stretched out enough for her to tie them tighter, which is definitely all in her head, and she admits that. But um, So now, this week, I've been noticing that every day, just that she gets on, and within 30 seconds, she's already retying her skate. So. Oh, there we go. See, now that helps me remember mine. That's good. What, what's um, yours? I'm going to point out Caitlin Weaver. This girl cannot function without her personal iPod being the only music in the rink. If someone else's music is playing... She will turn off that music and she will play her iPod. If um, you know, doesn't matter what time of the session, beginning, middle, and if the music is off and there's no music playing for like more than five minutes, that girl's iPod's going on. <laughs> we we all kind of just let it happen, but uh, yeah, it's a lack of functionality when that girl's not into her music. It's pretty well, interesting. Paulina, how about you? Is this like the funnest thing? Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, funniest, quirkiest, whatever. Um. Well, I I guess like one of the things I noticed like at my rink is that like we there are a lot of younger skaters like middle school girls um, like you know sixth graders fifth graders and so they're definitely very into Iviva and they all are always giggling and um, really excited to be going to the Iviva store and so whenever another girl comes back with the Iviva outfit everybody is like oh my god. You just got that. I wanted that, but now that you have it, I won't get it. And it's just—it's so funny. And I, it's it's so cute, and it's just like a funny little thing. <laughs> well, uh, hey, uh, welcome back to Haven and Brandon. We're happy you're back with us. Uh, uh, so the question is this: What is kind of the weirdest quirk or funniest habit that someone uh, you train with has? <laughs> um. Anything that Andrew does? Uh, I mean, <laughs> Fran. I I feel like the like the the I don't know like I guess yeah Francesca she's always uh, our senior lady Francesca Chiara is always uh, on the ice and like when we make eye contact she just starts laughing <laughs> like every time I'm not meaning like sometimes I mean every time to make eye contact she just starts laughing like <laughs> laughing like crazy and I'm always like getting ready for a long program, and I just look at her real fast, and she just starts laughing, and I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's, you know, so I'm always trying to figure out what she's laughing about, and, and I would say in tutorial, like, you know, like, before every session, we always have, he always has to ask me, like, 20 questions about something. It's 
<laughs> we, if we yeah. can't get on the ice without having a discussion mm -hmm. about life. Yeah, so, sometimes like our pair sessions are usually just Brandon and I, so we don't really have like a lot of like teams or like. I mean, I get like, mad when like, people. Our single sessions like is with. Francesca and Andrew, which could be kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I would like, say like, I don't know. I guess my biggest pet peeve would be when people say that they are getting annoyed with my music. <laughs> yeah, you play the same music. I don't over play the same music. Yet. I play the same playlist. <laughs> <laughs> playlist obviously the same music. Well, well, that's that's so. Our next question is actually also for uh, Haven and Brandon. Uh, what's your favorite beach activity? Beach activity? And this is this is where you can make. People from pretty much everywhere else in the country really jealous. <laughs> um, honestly, just going to the beach and just sitting there is nice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really do like much um, like activities like volleyball or like anything like that. I just like to sit there. <laughs> and, um, I'm not very tan because I haven't been to the beach in a while. And so I need to work on that. But after Worlds, I'm just, like, just going to have to lay out on the beach. I mean, I don't go to the beach too much, but when I do, I like to bury my friends when they're sleeping. Like, <laughs> they look stupid, but they normally don't wake up, so when they wake up, they've got sand all over them. But, I mean, probably just laugh. Well, that's not that's not very nice, Brandon. I, I, that's not very nice. I, I'll never go to the beach with you now. Uh, <laughs> This one comes from Ken, at Kindle Skater on Twitter, and we'll just open this one up to all of you guys. Uh, Zach, let's start with you and then go down the line. Um, what's your favorite program that you've ever done? Ooh. Ever done. Um, I have to say last year's probably um, for multiple reasons, one of them being um, it was a lot easier than this one. No. <laughs> um, uh, oh. No. Uh, we just learned a lot about each other, and so I've got kind of fond memories of both. We had tough Grand Prix, we had Skate America and Skate Canada back to back, and two really strong performances. And I think we really grew connected to that program. Um, and I was at that moment we were really kind of coming together to support each other as a team. So that's probably the one that stands out the most in my mind. And if there was a close tie, it would have to be the Flamenco one. Polina, how about you? I have kind of like a tie. I have, um, in 2012, I had in my junior ladies short program, I had a cowgirl program, and it was Western. <laughs> I had like an exact cowgirl outfit, and I started out the year with pigtails with braids in them and like cowgirl boot covers, like boots, and everyone told me to drop it because it was just too theatrical for them. Um, so I ended up dropping the boots, and I ended up doing French braids instead, but I still had a very theatrical cowgirl costume that I loved, and the program was horrific. So that's definitely my number one, and my other one that I really love is um, my 2013 long program in Junior Ladies, which was Romeo and Juliet, and I don't know, I just really like that one. I like watching that on YouTube, too. But it's just amazing to see how much I've grown since then. For sure. Madison, how about you? Uh, I would have to say that this year's short dance is probably my favorite. Um, part of that is to do with the costume. <laughs> because it's just one of those where we made it and found it really quick. And it's comfortable and it looks good and looks good in pictures. And it's always fun to have like a big skirt that you get to play with, which is nice in flamenco. And um, I don't know, the program I feel like keeps growing um, from competition to competition and I don't know, the personality of the dance is just very me. So uh, I feel like 100% myself and it's easy to express. All right, how about uh, Brandon and Haven? Um, I think my favorite program that we've done actually is probably this year's long program. Um, I don't know, I really like it. I feel like um, you have like a connection with it, and um, I think it's really different. And like the music is kind of different and out of the box a little bit, but um, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I would have to agree with Haven, but I think my all-time favorite would have to be La Strada in 2013. Oh. I had the most fun with any program of that, just because if I could smile and look like I'm like being a joker, like it was like perfect. And Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> One, uh, so, so kind of a similar question. 
Um, and we got this one back on Monday, and I liked it so much. I, I, I used it yesterday too. If you could uh, have a have a performance uh, to a piece of live music, who would it be by, and what would it be? Hmm. And we'll we'll go the same order. Zach, you get to lead off. Um. Oh boy, that's the pressure's on now. I would have to say something. I, I know I have to say something. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know. That's that's a. Are we going by what people want to see or what I want to do? Because <laughs> that's what, what, what you want to do. What's um, what you want to do? I'm actually kind of torn. I'm a. I've always wanted to skate to a piece of music, but Maddie's not really involved in what I see in my head. Sorry, love. Um, uh, it's a piece called Great Temple by Dedulia. It's uh, it's really cool. It's like something I wanted to do in shows when I was younger. Um, but since dancing, I've Maddie and I like a lot of the same Sam Smith songs. And um, they really kind of draw a crowd in, and I think that with direction Ice Dance is going, it's kind of it really mashes well, especially with a lot of the shows that are coming out. I think that would be a pretty entertaining piece. Helena, how about you? Hands down, Christina Aguilera. I love her. I, her voice is just so like perfect. I think it's just it's so different than everyone. It's really talented voice, and I love all of her music. So definitely live with Christina. That would be amazing. All right. Madison, how about you? Uh, Zach is going to kill me, and this sounds really corny. Oh, but no. I really want to skate sometime where Zach is singing live. Oh, God. <laughs> because it's, it's a little-known fact that I'm slowly, like, dropping more often because he's really what? shy about it. Mm -hmm. But he's an amazing singer, and kind of um, some of my favorite songs that he sings are um, Hallelujah, the version by Jeff Buckley, and um, a lot of different um, John Mayer or Michael Bublé songs, kind of all those pop ballads. And um, it's been a long time that I've been begging him to do some program where he sings, and so I'm hoping someday that comes true. I just keep waiting. <laughs> oh, God. Well, uh, everyone just learned something new, so there, that's great. Uh, Brandon, how about you? Okay. And I know you're going to get mad, but I think this would make the perfect pair program. But I <laughs> always... Wanted to skate, and I love this music, but the theme song from Halo, the video game. <laughs> oh, dude, epic music. Epic music. Yeah, so good. Program. You always say that, actually. I know. <laughs> now, now, Haven, I have a feeling that you might have uh, another favorite. <laughs> um, well, if they're performing live, I guess, um, I think, I don't know. Bruno Mars is always like good when I watch him like perform in concerts or whatever. So I think that'd be kind of cool. So like a Bruno Mars song or Ed Sheeran's good. Um. Halo. <laughs> Halo. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it may, may, maybe one day, Brandon. Maybe one day. Every right, season, just so you know, every, every season. start of the season, I play it <laughs> and just say, just imagine doing a throw to this. Music. <laughs> hey, uh, so I, I'm thinking, you know, U.S. Championships next year. That can be uh, the music that, that's, you know, behind your intro video or something. We'll have to, we'll have to make that work. So we're running out of time here. So one last question for you guys: What are you most looking forward to about Shanghai? I've never been to China. I've been to Chinese Taipei. That's the only Asian thing I've done. Um, so that's pretty exciting for me. I love Asian culture. Um, I probably won't. I don't know that I'm going to have enough time to get out and see parts of Beijing like the uh, Great Wall this trip, but I want to take in as much of the culture as possible. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're lucky to go with um, the Chinese dance team, and so they kind of promised to show us around, and um, both Zach and I are very adventurous uh, with culture and with food and trying different things, so um, there are no limits. I'm pretty excited to just go and kind of immerse myself as much as possible. Great. Kalina, how about you? Well, since I was there already for Cup of China, uh, it's going to be really nice to go back to a familiar place and, like, know that I was there already. Um, definitely excited to see everyone just because this is going to be the biggest competition of the year and just feel, like, the solidarity of the sport, really, and all of us are going to be coming together. 
And uh, what I didn't get to do the last trip was go downtown and see the bun and everything. So hopefully I get to do that this trip. All right, and now uh, to the Florida crew. Um, well, this will be our first time to China, so I think um, that'll be really cool. And I think we're done early, so I think we'll have time to go out and um, kind of tour, sightsee. And I heard that the shopping's really good there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bargain with them, and uh, I heard that, that that's good. Yeah, and I would have to say my favorite part is just the mentality of going to a competition that I've always like watched for the last like you know ten years. Of being Figure skater, that's what like was, first you know, so like being able to actually just go and participate is probably was my favorite part. <laughs> Excellent. Well, hey, really appreciate you guys taking the time to join us. To the fans out there, a reminder if you, if you tuned in late and you want to catch the whole thing, it'll be on our YouTube page momentarily. Uh, you can catch, catch Worlds in Shanghai later this month on Ice Network. And uh, be sure to check back tomorrow. We'll have uh, our last What's Up World Team Hangout. We'll have uh, the Shivatanis and Gracie Gold joining us. So be sure to tune in for that one. Again, uh, guys, thanks for taking the time to join us today, and, and good luck in your training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, guys.